OK. So on a problem like this, it's the exact same thing that I wanted to remind you guys of. Whenever you have a term raised to a negative exponent, that's equal to 1 over x to the n. So in your reality, I can rewrite this problem as 15q to the 6th plus 5q squared divided by 5q to the 4th. That's all I'm rewriting, because this can be rewritten down as your, new, as your denominator. So then it's essentially being divided. Now, when you have a term being divided by a monomial, you divide both terms by your monomial. So in reality, you have 15q to the 6 divided by 5q to the 4th plus 5q to the 6 divided by 5q to the 4th. So we split it up. Yes? I don't know. You're right. This one is 5 squared from the original problem. So then you just divide. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. And then do you remember when you divide fractions? We've, so if you have x to the m divided by x to the n, that equals x to the m minus n. So therefore, this is 3q to the 6 minus 4 plus 5 divided by 5 is 1. And this is q to the 2 minus 4. So therefore, you have 3q squared plus q to the negative second power. But remember, when you have a negative exponent, you've got to write it as the denominator. So my final answer, which I'll write right here, is going to be 3q squared plus 1 over q squared. Because you've got to make sure you write that as a positive exponent. So you put in the new denominator. OK? And that's your final answer. At least we have some people that have their heads up. <laughs> <laughs>